Welcome. This is Mr. Fisher Flip's third grade math. And today's lesson we're going to be subtracting all those uh, snowflakes out of the sky as we uh, get ready for the Christmas celebration. It's Our lesson today comes from Math Expressions Lesson 4-12 and our objective is to subtract across zeros. When we subtract with zeros in the top number, sometimes it's scary. But with this lesson, hopefully you'll be able to see that it's very easy. And we can uh, use the skills that we learn from this to help us as we do everyday math. So let's get started with a story problem. This story problem comes from with Jen. Jen went to the store and she bought eight items. She had eight siblings. She had to get eight gifts. She paid with a five dollar bill and got one dollar in change. If the store sells pens for 50 cents each, pencils for 25 cents each, and a set of markers for one dollar each, which eight items did she buy? First of all, let's understand what the problem is asking. We want to know that $5 bill and she got $1 back in change. She did spend how much? She spent $4. So we need to figure out what she spent, but she spent it on eight items. We need to have our eight items. What I'm doing is I'm just laying it out. For me, I have to have a visual of what she bought. If she bought two pens, that would be $1. If she bought markers, if she bought two of them, two of those, that would be $2. How many more dollars can she spend? One dollar, right? Let's see if she can get enough pencils. If we bought 25 cents, what's 25 times four? 25 times four is one dollar. She bought a dollar's worth of pencils, two dollars worth, two dollars worth of markers, and one dollar worth of pens. She bought two sets of markers, two pens, and four pencils. Today's a quick practice, I thought of something that would be a little more festive. And what I found was this octahedron. I'll be adding it to the website so you can print it off and make your own. Or what I thought would be really nice is if you uh, did that octahedron and changed the numbers so that they would be divisible by 8. If you rolled the, the octahedron and it came up with 24 on top, you'd have to go 24 divided by 8 would be 3. That way you can practice your eights, and it's a fun way to do that. If you want to be able to do it with, uh, I will have both of those pages ready to be printed off, and you can uh, practice your eights. The eye tools. And I had to actually do some homework to figure out how to work these, because when I tried to put in the number, it wouldn't let me. I figured it out, and I'm going to show you how it works. And let's start out with a, a story problem. Letitia bought a box of 500 paper clips. So far, she has used... 138 of them. How many are left? And so actually we have this 500 minus 138. And so if we look at that, we take 500 and we have to take away 138 of those. 138 of these? No, those are hundreds. So this is how it works. I'm going to take my 100 and I'm going to regroup it. And I'm going to make it into tens. And then I'm going to take one of those tens and I'm gonna regroup it and make it into eights. And now to do my problem, if I took 500 minus 110, that would work, but we wanna take away 138. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we're gonna be taking the eight of those away, right? And we're also gonna be taking away one, two, three, 30 of those, and see there's my 100, 138. Now to get my answer, it's not gonna be 500 minus 138. And what I can do is I can count them up. I can count one, two, three, three hundreds, one, two, three, four, five, six tens, and two ones. So I'm gonna put that in, 362. I'm gonna check my answer. And how did I do? Terrific. So if you get a chance to do iTools, um, it's really cool to be able to regroup and show how to make subtraction work on this iTool. And I'll put a direct link to it so that you can get to this game directly. Moving on to modeling, let's check. 800 minus 391. When we take 391 away from 800, we're going to have to regroup. And I can't regroup in the tens column. I'm going to have to regroup in the hundreds column. So I'm going to regroup by taking 100 away. And by taking 100 away, I'm going to make that a 7. And when I regroup, 
That becomes a 10, right? But I still can't take 1 away from 0. So I'm going to regroup one of those 10s, and that becomes a 9, and this becomes a 10. Now I can take 1 away from 10. 1 away from 10 is 9. 9 minus 9 is 9 take away 9 is 0. And 7 minus 3 is 4. Let's check with a proof drawing. If you notice, it's correct with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 hundreds minus 3 hundreds and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, tens, and 1. Let's regroup this. Okay, I've made some 10 ones, so I need to get rid of 1, 10. Now I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. If you notice, that correlates with, look at that, 1, 10, 1, 10, 9, tens, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 hundreds. So now we can take 10 minus 1. 10 minus 1 is 9. 10 of those minus 9, or 9 of those minus 9 is 0, and 7 of those minus 3 equals 4. Now I can see where that I tools, I'm actually taking it away. So by taking that 1 away, how many do I have left? 9. Does that make sense? Let's try to solve this problem. We have 500 minus 179. And what I did was I saw this 500 in the story problem in this 179. Now you need to stop, see if you can figure this out on your own before we do it together. Well, looking at this problem, I need to figure out how to do this. I have to take away from that 500. So I'm going to take 100 away, and that becomes a 400, and this becomes a 10. 10 tens equals the 100 that we took away. Now I'm going to take 10 away again, and that becomes a 9, and this becomes a 10. Now let's see if you can do it. 10 minus 9 is 1. 9 minus 7 is 2. 4 minus 1 is 3. Let's check our answer. Our answer is 321 books. And notice we did it correctly. And there's a better way to do the proof drawing. Now let's try this one. First of all, how many students are there? Or how many bottles did we collect? We collected 1,000. And the students at Sterling collected 768 bottles. The students at Olympia Elementary School collected 1,000 bottles for recycling. The students at Sterling Elementary collected 768 bottles. How many more bottles did the students at Olympia collect? And there's three zeros. This is a challenge problem. Let's see if you can do it. 900. This becomes a 90. And this becomes 10 ones. Okay. 10 minus 8. 9 minus 6. 9 minus 7. Did you get the same answer? 1,000 minus 768 is indeed 232. Tonight's homework will be two pages long. Let's look at that really quick. I don't see any that you're going to struggle with there on that first part. They're pretty self-explanatory. You're going to be taken away or ungrouping and then you have to solve some problems and and that's just working back with the elapsed time and it's just to help you remember how to, how to work it. And then there's a couple of uh, ungrouping problems that don't involve subtracting across zeros. So that's helping you to remember how to subtract. Remember your WSQ. When and where did you watch it? Sum up what you saw and write one question you might have from watching the video. With Christmas coming, I just thought you might want to uh, be on the lookout for some apps. Now I've tried to find some apps that either on your iPad or a lot of these are also on Google Play. These are all iPad specific that I found and some of these you can also find on iPod. On the bottom right here, these are all found on your Google Play, so your Android devices. Practice some of these math games because then you remember it for yourself. Well that's all we have for tonight. Remember to have a happy holiday. Flip assignment is due by Friday. So if you bring it on Thursday, even better. Merry Christmas.